have to come up with a better plan. No, you don't, Phoebe. Your days of cleaning up my evil messes are over. So you admit it? Yeah, sure I admit it. I have no problem saying it. Just not on TV or in front of anyone else. Why not? Because it's embarrassing you had to save my butt all those times when I was a villain. Now, I'm a superhero now. I should be able to save my own butt. Can you stop saying butt? No. <laughs> you gotta let me fix this, Phoebes. And let me use the words I love. But. <sighs> All right, if it means that much to you, then fine, we'll do it your way. Thanks. That's a super limo, let's go. <sighs> oh, uh, I forgot my phone. All right, hurry up. Sorry, Max. This is another one of your messes I gotta clean up. With a little help from Dark Mayhem. Okay, the only way to the room is through that trap door, so play it cool. Hi, Super President Kickbutt, we're playing it cool! Max, you two look nice. Max, what's under your cape? What's under your cape? <laughs> what? what? Uh... 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 Mitch, this happens at every awards show. <laughs> Wait, where's the stink bomb? Why is there a toilet in here? The toilet is the stink bomb. It's an evil metaphor. You better open it. I'm not touching that thing. Me neither, which is why it's voice activated. It's potty time. <laughs> All right, time to charge up my lemon blaster and get the plasma going. Oh. Come on, baby. Work for Maxie. Hey, Max, um, you're not gonna be happy about this, but there's something I have to do. Uh, you know that's not a working toilet, right? No, I mean, I... Woohoo! We'll be fully charged soon. Oh, guess I'll hold it in. TMI, Phoebe. We'll make this quick. I was born in the big city. And I was born in a barn. <laughs> While I would fly over skyscrapers. I would jump over hills. We're running out of time. How much longer does your blaster take to charge? My math is correct. Three lemons and a surprise lime. <laughs> that stink bomb goes off. Every soup up there is going to smell like an elephant's armpit. Elephants don't have armpits. They have leg pits. The pits are the point! <laughs> I'm sorry, Max, but I'm done letting you try to fix this. You don't have a choice. There's nothing your powers can do to help. My powers won't help, but Dark Mayhem's will. That wouldn't matter unless you took them. Oh my gosh, you took them. You might want to stand back for this. Phoebe, what are you doing? Excuse me. I guess those fancy hot dogs I had are barking. <laughs> Why did you take Dark Man's powers from the orb? Max, I had to. I told you it was dangerous. Yeah, for you. I can handle it. Besides, it's not like your portable juice box was going to save us. That was surprisingly powerful. <laughs> See? Could have cleaned up my own mess. Didn't need your help. Okay, well, can we focus on the positives? Our future as soups is saved, and it smells lemon-tastic in here. <laughs> Bye bye, evil powers. Uh, I said bye bye. Uh, adios. Uh, Riverdale Oh no. I can't put Dark Mayhem's powers back. With my evil. You can complete my master plan. Everything you need is in a cave at the bottom of the Weeping Volcano in Hawaii. Weeping Volcano? 
What am I saying? Why am I even listening to you? Don't fight it. Finish my work and take my vengeance on the hero world. I don't want to rule the world. You do. I can see it in your eyes. Stop talking. It's just a matter of time, Thunder Girl. Soon, you'll be just like me. I'll never be evil like you. I'll be even more evil. There's waterfalls on each side of this volcano. Found the weeping volcano. Time to go. Oh, baby. Come! We're gonna take a family selfie! <laughs> oh, uh, Aloha, um, do you have anything that could distract my entire family while I go wreak havoc? <laughs> oh, great, thank you. A nice fanny pack. Said no one ever. <laughs> Anyway, I picked up some brochures. There are so many fun activities here. Oh, look, there's an art class at the Crafts Hut starting in five minutes. I want to go there. Of course you do, because you're not an idiot. Here's a brochure for kite surfing. Oh, looks kind of cool. I'm down. Wait, 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 we're supposed to be doing things as a family. Yeah, well, Hank, just let him go kite surfing and we'll take Chloe to the Craft Hut. All right, fine, but we are all going to meet up later at the Luau for pork time. I Family time. if you just pulled over. Hey, you left Billy in danger back there. What's your problem lately? Stop following me, Max, or I will show you what danger really is. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You've been acting like an evil jerk ever since you used Dark Man's powers. I'm warning you, Max. You never gave them back. Of course not. How else is a girl supposed to take over the world? Where's mom and dad? Washing a rock. Washing a rock? Why are they washing a rock? Because of the curse. Hello. Okay, guys, we'll have to stop Phoebe ourselves. But we need to get that orb to extract her evil powers. Chloe, can you teleport home to Hiddenville and get the orb? Oh, wait, you can't. It's hidden in the secret weapons vault. In, in the, the fireplace. fireplace. How was it last to know about this thing? All right, Chloe, go now. You know, none of this would have happened if we'd just gone to Delaware. Here you go. Oh, great. All right, you two, come with me to the ATV. We'll follow Phoebe's tire tracks. Chloe, go tell Mom and Dad we went to save Phoebe. Let's go. Do this, do that. I'm trying to vacation here. You shouldn't have come here, Max. I had to. You need my help to defeat Dark Mayhem's evil. It's my evil now. And it's stronger than yours ever was. Give it up, Phoebe. Your evil days are over. The orb. Max, put that down. This is for your own good. No, Phoebe! That orb's your only chance. And I guess I'm out of chances. Let's get to the Volcano Lair Destructo. I've got a world to take over. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> Phoebe, get back here! Enjoy your new home. This cave is sealed tight. The only ones who can save us are... Us. 
I'm Thunder Man. I'm kind of an expert at tracking people. Also, we put a homing chip in Billy's right molar when he was five. <laughs> That's why that tooth is green. Huh? <laughs> Phoebe having Dark Mayhem's powers? She and some weird android had her planning to use the volcano to spread Malvexium throughout the world. Malvexium? How did this happen? I'll explain on the way, but we have to stop her. Come on. All right, guys. We're gonna have to break through the store. Ugh, families. Am I right, Destructo? <laughs> Maybe yours. I love my motherboard. Get ready to rush her. Our biggest weapon is the element of surprise. Surprise? Surprise? Oh, I'm sorry, guys, but this is a bad time for you. Quick, use Doc Mayhem's force field to trap them. I have that? Awesome! Don't worry, I'll get us out of here. Jerry, be on your roof and I'll pick you up in my escape pod and explain everything then. Hey, Blabby, your guests are escaping. Oh, you, Max! What do you think you're doing? Getting my sister back. Now, Mom! I won't let you take my powers! They're not even yours! This is my chance. Computer, activate body command center! Activating. Initiate head body reattachment. Finally. We do mom light the Christmas tree. Give me some more power. I will destroy you. Not before I save you. All right, careful. We don't know if she's good again. There's only one way to find out. Phoebe, you good again? <laughs> yeah. She's good, guys. My days of being a sidekick are over. It's time for Destructo to rule the world. Okay, this is bad, but he's never used that body before. It should take him some time to figure it out. I think he figured it out. Once we reset that lever, the volcano will stop, but it's going to be hard to get past him. Well, he's no match for all of us. Oh. For the record, I did not know he could do that. Anybody else have an idea? I can try to fly him out of here, but he'd see me coming. I can help you with that. Pimmy and jellyfish sandwich? Why do you still have that? So I can do this. What is this? Thunderman, away! Guess you can't guard that lever now. You mean this lever? <laughs> now nothing will stop me from taking over the world. <sighs> Your help. Why is it still yesterday? I don't know. I have no idea what either of you are talking about, but Phoebe's outfit is dumb. You know, maybe it's not a coincidence that we're stuck reliving the same day, the day before the Z Force Championships. Why this day, though? Why can't it be the day you get your braces caught in that fence? Hey, that is not funny. It took them three hours to cut me loose. Z Force must be doing this for a reason. 
Maybe we should call President Kickbutt for help. But why would the Z-Force mess with us unless it was some kind of test? Ooh, I like tests. I know you do. <laughs> but if it was a test, I mean, asking for help would be like cheating. And you don't cheat, do you, Phoebe? <laughs> no way. I'd rather practice kissing that fence again. I knew that's what you were doing! Okay, <laughs> let's stay on track here. If this is a Z-Force test, how do we pass it? Well, they said to enjoy your day off. Maybe they just want us to have the most fun day ever. Max, it's called the Z-Force, not the Wee force <laughs> Well, it was a direct order. And the only thing you like more than a test is a direct order. All right. Fine, if having fun will end this day, then fun we shall have. She's serious, run! <sighs> now that was a day off. Getting hit with that broom was so worth it. Don't forget about riding an elephant at the zoo, riding a rhino at the zoo, getting kicked out of the zoo. Good times. We've achieved maximum fun. And now that we've aced the C-Force test, when we wake up, tomorrow will finally be tomorrow. Are we just gonna relive this horrible day for the rest of our lives? Yeesh, what a drama queen. <laughs> You know what? I'm calling the hero league. It's time we get help. No! Max, give me my phone back. Let me put an end to this. I can't, Phoebe. Why not? Because I, I want us to figure this out ourselves. We're superheroes. We should be able to fix this. But there are no buts. <laughs> buts are for quitters and sitters. Okay, now you're just being weird, but if this is what you really want, then fine. It is. Now, go upstairs and have some of Dad's freakish pancake that he loves more than us. <laughs> I'll be up there in a minute. It's getting harder to keep you a secret, repeat clock. Repeat clock? It's not the Z-Force making us live this day over and over. It's you. Drama! Max, explain yourself. Yes, I have been making us repeat the day, but I have a good reason. Great, let's hear it. It's kind of a big deal. You might want to sit down for this. Better be good. <sighs> Okay, here goes. Max, get back here! It's over, Max. What? Phoebe, don't, please! Why not? Why would you let tomorrow happen? I want the truth this time. Because I'm scared, okay? I'm not ready for tomorrow to be here yet. What if we don't make it to the Z-Force Championships? Then we'll figure it out. It's not that easy for me. I've never worked this hard at anything in my life, including being evil. And if I fail, what then? Oh, we're not gonna fail. You don't know that. Max, look at everything you've already done and how much you've already accomplished. You're, <laughs> we're a great team, okay? We can't let the fear of getting bad news keep us from moving forward. I guess you're right. I am pretty great. <laughs> do we have to do? What you doing? Oh, hi. Um, messing with the time-space continuum could have ended the world, but uh, hey, dodge that bullet. Uh, sister boy, oh. I hate to be that guy, but the slide could use a polish. I can't resist the need to assist. <laughs> Yes, he just flew up the slide. <laughs> He's fantastic. I mean, earlier he got me an outfit for the spring fling and a date. Look, I don't even know who this cutie is, but according to Assistant Boy, we're 99% compatible. <laughs> he can get us dates? Well, I've just been using him to do my homework and laminate my socks for no reason. <laughs> 
your slides polished. And I found this inside. <gasps> My pan flute! <laughs> hey, it's just a boy. What are you doing up here? According to the schedule, you're supposed to be finding me a date? Oh, yeah, I used some of your time, but you can take some of mine later. So it's okay just to steal my time? Technically, I didn't steal it. I borrowed it without asking. Well, then I guess it's okay if I borrow your cape without asking. <gasps> Give me my cape of many pockets! <laughs> hey, these pockets were made on my time, which means they belong to me. <laughs> I knew I should have done a cross stitch. My cape? You ripped a pocket off my cape. <laughs> Say goodbye to everything you love! Fine. Stay out of this! Max, from now on, Assistant Boy is my sidekick. Let's go! Hey, my sidekick's not going anywhere! Hey, he's mine! No, mine! If you two don't stop fighting, I'm gonna turn into a sad monster! <laughs> Dude, you're a grown man. Get it together. Change my mind, Max. You can have him. Baby, what are you doing? <laughs> Soothing the savage beast with music! I call this... Memories of Machu Picchu. Well, that's one good thing that came from all this. Gotta find a way to make him happy. I have an idea. What? Stop leaving me with him! Hey, uh, what about impressions? I'm a New Yorker. The subway's late. Forget about it. <laughs> Your pan food made him hate my impression! Maybe it'll make him happy if we tell him how much we appreciate him. Hey, sister boy, I love the cape you made me! What? See? The shield mode protects me from the things you're lobbing at my head! Whoa! Get over here and hide behind my cape! Take this corner, I'll take this one, we'll share it. Good idea! Wow, we're actually sharing something for the first time? I guess so. At least we did it once in our life, before we were crushed by a rampaging monster! Oh. Bravo, Thunder Twins! A uh, sister, sister boy? boy? Oh. Oh. Golly, Thunder Twins, you two made me pretty sad. But seeing you share that cape made me happy again! <laughs> I guess we never would have learned all this if you hadn't tried to smash us with yard junk, so thanks, assistant boy. <laughs> How about that hug? <laughs> How about no? Okay. What you watching? Shh! <laughs> Girls! No phones on the farm! Now, as we used to say back home, alpaca these up for later. <laughs> alpaca these up for later! That's so funny, Mom! Isn't that so funny, Nora? That is so funny, BB! <laughs> Okay, she's gone. Plan B. You keep Farmer Bar busy while I go down to Max's lair and watch Best Chefs Forever on his computer. Wait, I don't get to watch Best Chefs Forever? I'll tell you what happens. Ow! <laughs> Fine, we'll take turns. <laughs> Quick question. Have you ever tasted a glass of Gooby Dirt Juice? Ew, no. Well, I have! <laughs> Which means it's your turn to McBooger sit. But Chef Brielle and Chef Brianna are about to cater a ninja wedding. Just stay down here and we'll finish the episode together. Okay, give me the headphones. Hey, they're mine. Go find Max's, they're probably under his bed. <laughs> Ew, feels like I touched a rotten jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> That was close. We're finally safe. No! I can't believe you two. Mom, we can explain. Explain what? That you pretended to go to the outhouse so you could sneak down here and avoid my girls' night? Oh, so you're all caught up. <laughs> well, don't worry. There will never be another McBooger girls' night. Wait, Mom. 
really broke mom's heart. Yeah, I've never seen her do that before. <laughs> Whatever you did to mommy, you better fix it. Oh, he's right. We were so worried about our show being spoiled, we ended up spoiling mom's special night. Let's get out there, apologize, and give her a big hug. <laughs> All right, new plan. We are gonna give her the best girls' night in the history of the McBoogers. Boy, that is an unfortunate last name. <laughs> What's going on? We behaved like a couple of cow patties, so we're giving you the McBooger girls' night of your dreams. A real alpaca? Girls, you don't have to pretend anymore. I know you don't want to do my girls' night. Just enjoy the jug band sounds of the Thunder Gals! <laughs> well, there ain't no jugging if you don't have fun. Well, there ain't no jugging if she works so hard with her family and her life makes sweet, sweet music. Family and her life, like there's nothing to it. I found you, girl, at heart. I'm a booger through and through. Looks smart, white and power too. With her family and her heart and her family pride. With the children and her husband always by her side. I don't think she liked the song. I can't believe we traveled back in time. Ow! What'd you do that for? Just wanted to make sure my lasers still work in 1955. We have to hide the timeshare before we start looking for Heinrich. There's a button here that says camouflage. It's not too late to make them wrong about this. What if we... Stop Heinrich from getting to school. Whoa, 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 Max, it's one thing to toy with time. Now you want to toy with attendance? <laughs> Phoebe, if we stop him from going to school, parents won't be able to tell the story anymore. We freeze him, and when he thaws out later, he'll miss the whole day. How hard could it be? Uh, I hate it when you say, how hard could it be? Yeah, how hard could it be? How hard could it be? Everyone, stop it! <laughs> Come on, before he gets away. <sighs> Great, Scott, what was that? <laughs> Shoot, I missed Billy, block him! <laughs> Gee willikers, I'm being accosted by supervillains. We're not supervillains, we're superheroes. I'm being accosted by superheroes. We're just trying to skip school on a windy day 60 years from now. Stand still. You, you stay away from me, you no good nicks. My leg! Because of you monsters, I'm gonna miss school. Well, you heard all my work here is done. I'm gonna miss the sock hop. What will I write in my dance journal? Can you just leave him here, guys? Guys? Wait up! Hey, Bradford! The name's Bad Tad. The heck do you want? We're just trying to know what happened to Hinville. Yeah, didn't Heinrich Hinville III become mayor and make this town awesome? Heinrich Hinville III? You mean King Heine, the crime boss? He's a crime boss named King Heine. Everyone knows the story of King Heine. Four superheroes attacked him and he missed his dance contest. His hatred of superheroes drove him to an amazing life of crime. Been there. Heinrich grew up to become a powerful crime boss and took over Hiddenville. He banished all superheroes and bears. He is one angry Heine. Remember me? Ah! <laughs> hey, buddy, chill out. We're here to help. Chill out? Is that superhero wordplay because of your ice mouth powers? We came back to say sorry. You're not gonna hurt me? Not that you could do any more damage. You already ruined my perfect attendance. In there. <laughs> And then, my partner for the dance contest dropped me like a hot potato. It's just a dance contest. What matters is that you're a winner here. He doesn't speak for all of us. I wanted to win that contest so I could become popular. But heck, who knows, maybe I could become class president. You could be mayor. That'll never happen now, thanks to you guys. What did we do? I'm gonna talk to you three from now on. Look, Heinrich, let us use our powers to help you win the dance contest. Yeah, I can be your partner. Do you even know how to dance? 
do I know how to dance? <laughs> they don't call me Crazy Legs Thunderman for nothing. <gasps> and how's about this? <gasps> Finish it off with a little Phoebe flavor. <gasps> oh, that last couple's gonna be tough to beat. We've got to get on board the boogie bus. Buckle up, Heidi. Max, try to follow along. truck. So did we win? No, we lost. Does that mean we have to go back to Crimeville? I let this happen to my hair for nothing? Henrik is going to be devastated. This is the best night ever. We're oddly cheery. Thanks, guys. Everyone loved our dance. Look, they're all doing the Heinrich. Heinrich, this new dance is a gas. You should run for class president. You'd have my vote. I'm sorry, did she just hit on my dance partner like I wasn't even here? Phoebe, let it go. We fixed the future, now let's go home. Wait, before you go, it'd be swell if you took a picture with me to remember you, bye. Later, Gators. Bye. Oh. My. Gosh. The hair wear pop-up is coming to Hidville! The hair what now? <laughs> It's like a temporary store that sells hats, headbands, and bows. Lots and lots of bows. Oh, well, it happened in the market for a new sun visor. Blocks the sun from a face and leaves my head free to breathe. Yeah, your last eight went mysteriously missing. Nora, will you help me buy my first bow? <gasps> I've been waiting your whole life for you to say that. Yay, it's my bow mitzvah. Now our castle looks like it needs some ketchup. I'll go get some. Dad, I don't need the pickle, princess. Sis, look, her ketchup pumping game is flawless. <gasps> and so is her bow game. Yes! I don't know if you know I can hear you, but I can. She's throwing shade. I love her. I'm Stacy. This is Heather. I'm Nora, and I know who you are. You're the girls who made headbands and fedoras cool again. Big fan. Wait, light bulb, brilliance! We should all go to the hairwear pop-up tomorrow. You guys want to hang out with me? Headbands, fedoras, bows. It just makes sense. That would be great. Oh my gosh, are we becoming a squad? Yes! <laughs> Oh, wait, I just remembered. I promise I go to that pop-up with my sister. <laughs> but maybe I can bring her along. Hold on, pause, full stop. You wanna hang out with your little sister? Yeah. Dislike. <laughs> Nora, hanging with us is hanging with friends. Hanging with your little sister is just babysitting for free. It's okay. Maybe she doesn't wanna become part of a fashion forward trio. No, I do. I can babysit my sister whenever. For money, Avi. So was that a yes? No. It's a yes! Yes! Blue fedora or orange fedora? Both. Yes! Oh, gee, Nora, we haven't had this much fun with someone who isn't us in forever. Aren't you glad you didn't bring your baby sister? Uh oh. Adorable or fed ugly? Hey, where'd she go? I don't know, but I think that hat's from last season. Ew! <laughs> Chloe, it is so sweet of you to risk getting scalp mites so you can buy a bow for you and Nora. If I see one person scratch, we are out of here. Well, actually, Barb, place looks clear, which means it's visor time! I'm gonna go find a supervisor to help me find a super visor. <laughs> but I love his jokes. <laughs> He's not special enough for Nora. Well, what do you mean, Chloe? I want to get her the best bow because she's the best big sister ever, baby. <laughs> Aw. Okay, well, we'll keep looking until we find the perfect bow for Nora. There you are! 
we found you a bone, it brings out our eyes, so when we stand next to you, we totally pop. <laughs> Love it, grateful, new plan. Let's go to the mall and buy hair stuff there. Is this because of your family? Don't worry, they're clueless. <laughs> What do you mean clueless? It means we saw your family and your little sister was all like, I love my big sister, she's the best, baby. She doesn't sound like that. Actually, that was pretty good. But she could be anywhere having fun and she chose to come here for me. Well, do you want to hang out with us or your baby sister? You guys... Yes! ...are awful. <laughs> and that yes thing you're doing is weird. It's yes, with an E. <laughs> Look, Nori's here. Hold on, are your scalp mites gone? Yeah, I got rid of them to hang out with my little sister. Aww. It's bone mitzvah time! <laughs> hey guys, I found a visor! Nori's here. Keep your mites away from my visor! 